All right, what's up, guys and girls? Today, well, I'll give you a little little bit of a channel update for 2018 first. Uh, I plan on doing one fishing video and one how-to video or review a week. So that'll be two videos a week. And hopefully I can uh, stick with that schedule. Um, so that's what to look forward to in 2018 obviously in minnesota sometimes it gets hard to do a fishing video a week because we don't always have the opportunity to fish so uh, i'll have to think of something for those times but uh, today we're going to be doing just a really quick how-to video um, and it's questions that i see get asked a lot about pouring lead um, it's just the my five quick tips on how to pour the the molds that are difficult to pour. Um, if you pour lead, you know that not all molds are the same. Some just are a bear to pour. They don't uh, they don't like to complete the pour. And uh, and here are the the five quick tips to get uh, to get those those molds to pour. So let's get to it. See, I got my mold here. This is the Ultra Spinner Jig Mold. Um, it's the uh, spinner bait mold. And uh, this one is a pain in the butt to pour, actually. The number, my number one tip to start with is inject pour. And what I mean by that is you take the spout from your pouring pot and Put it right in the nozzle for the jig or for the uh, mold and just hold it up there and inject pour um, that gives you your quickest shot of lead into the mold um, and really helps pour the uh, pour the mold complete my number two tip is to angle the mold if you take a look at this mold you can see how the, the, where you pour is just going to go straight down and the lead has to run down into the, towards the shank of the hook. If you take that mold and you angle it so that your pour gets further down in, further down in, so for this mold it would be angling up just like this, it'll, let, it'll allow that, that lead to run down there quicker. And fill the mold quicker so if you each mold is different um, if you take a look at your molds you can figure it out real quick which way they're gonna want to be tipped in order to uh, to pour faster um, and that for this mold that is a really helpful tip actually for a lot of the hard to pour molds if you take a look at them um, that's probably your number one tip is to to uh, tip the mold the way the lead wants to is going to have to run down to the shank of the hook. The next tip is to clean your lead pot. If uh, you don't get a good stream of lead out of your lead pot, if it's just a little trickle, you're not going to be able to pour. Um, I have found that for just the 20 pound pot like this one right here, that buzz bait wire, 0.51 buzz bait wire, fits up in the nozzle pretty snug. And if you ream it out with that buzz bait wire when it starts to get plugged up, um, it'll really help your pores. It'll help the stream coming out of there. And the better your stream coming out of there, the more complete your stream, the easier it is to pour. The uh, next tip is, you pe hear people say it all the time, is to heat your mold. What I do, when I turn my pot on, I just throw my mold right on the pot, just like that. Then when the the uh, the pot's warm, the mold's warm, and everything seems to work good. So that's number four. And the number one, well, it's number five on the list, but it is the most essential to getting good pours every single time is use clean lead. Um, I buy my lead off of eBay. I bought my lead when I owned a jig company. I tried not. I did use wheel weights for some some molds. 
Actually, some molds like the harder lead more and they make more sense in some molds. Shaky heads comes to mind because the, uh, the little uh, hitchhiker coil in that hard lead would stay put as opposed to soft lead after a while it starts to wiggle and it might pull out. Um, but for 99% of your pouring, you're going to want to use soft lead. And soft lead pours 10 times better than you're ever going to get wheel weights or uh, any other kind of blend of lead to, to, uh, to pour. So the problem with wheel weights is you can melt them down, you know, um, uh, get all the contaminants out of there and everything else. It's still not soft lead. It's got antimony, it's got a bunch of other stuff mixed in with it, and it makes it a hard compound. So it just doesn't pour as well. It's probably great for bullets or something like that. I have no idea. I've never done bullets. But it just does not work well for, uh, for most jig pouring situations. So that's the, uh, the number one uh, thing is use soft lead. That's my five tips for helping you pour those uh, tough to pour molds. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you learned something from the video. Uh, first and foremost, that's why I'm gonna be doing the how-to series. We, we got some really, I got some really cool stuff planned for the how-to. It's not just your basic, you know, how to do, it's gonna go into more advanced to make your, your uh, lure making all come together and make what you're making look more professional um, and it's just stuff that I've learned over the course of making thousands and upon thousands upon thousands of jigs. Um, so, and I hope the, uh, the how to series helps you. If you want to see more of the how to's, go ahead and subscribe. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.